Hi and welcome back to the Cocktail Explorer where I'm going to be making a twist on one of my brother Mick's favourite cocktails, the classic Long Island iced tea. It was Mick's birthday, actually it was Mick's birthday last weekend, uh, but I ran out of ingredients. So in honour of Mick's birthday I'm going to make this uh, fresh and herbal uh, twist on a Long Island iced tea with some fresh mint and fresh rosemary. So. A classic recipe but with a twist. To start with take some fresh mint and some fresh rosemary. Fresh from my local supermarket. In Mick's case fresh from his herb garden in his forest in Wales. So as much I should probably don't need this much but this will do for a couple of drinks worth of fresh mint and rosemary. Oh, it smells absolutely glorious in the way the camera is just not going to catch. And some fresh mint leaves. All those of you with kitchen gardens. I mean yeah fine it goes well with mint but with uh, mint goes well with I mean, all the rosemary goes well with your roast but make sure you've got enough for this cocktail. So a goodly portion of fresh mint and fresh rosemary. Uh, the base of a Long Island iced tea is a sweet and sour mix which is sugar water which you can make by just adding some sugar to boiling water, stir it all in till the water can take no more sugar and then let it chill or in this case sugar syrup. So a measure of sugar syrup, that was half a double measure. Some fresh lime or lemon juice, either is fine. To be honest, go for a squidgy bottle that you've got in your fridge door if you haven't got the fresh handy, but I just love crushing. Two halves of a fresh lime. Messy but glorious bit of kit this is. So, crush a, a fresh lime or squidge it from your bottle in the fridge to some sugar syrup and add in your fresh mint and rosemary and crush the crap out of it. In my case with a muddler, the end of a pestle and mortar, I don't know which is which, just to infuse it those fresh flavours. Smells glorious, I could just add soda to that and drink it now. But instead, Long Island iced tea, a cacophony of white spirits. So, in Mick's case, he would add a full measure, or <laughs> to that's tell the truth, a double measure of each of these spirits. I'm just going to add about a half measure of each, so that's a half measure of vodka, delicious grey goose here, half measure oh, of a nice Devon gin, a half measure of a white rum, seem to be a Bacardi in this case, and a half measure of tequila, gone with a nice clear white tequila, Jose Cuervo. Now these four really shouldn't go so well together, but they really do. So that's a double measure of four mixed white spirits. An equal measure, I actually like a double portion. So a full measure of triple sec. That's a, a clear orange liqueur. All in with the sweet and sour mix and the crushed mint and rosemary into a cocktail shaker. I want to be perfectly honest, you can just stir this. Make sure it lives on properly, because it's messy, but you don't get that messy. And serve, strained. 
into a tall glass over ice, leaving an inch or two at the top to top it off with some Coca-Cola. Other brands do exist. Pour this slowly, bounce it off the ice, and you will get some nice layering. And there you have a Long Island iced tea with mint and rosemary. Let's call it a Long Glen iced tea in honour of Mick. So a happy birthday plus one week. Catch you all next time. Drink safely and be well.